Quelle belle audience. Monsieur le Président de la Monsieur le Président de la République, Madame la Première Ministre, Mesdames et Messieurs, Gouverneurs de la Central Bank, Ministres, Présidents de l'Autorité Régulatrice et Représentants de différentes institutions, chers participants, chers amis, bienvenue à cette première édition édition de la Summit financière de l'Afrique. Nous sommes très délicés de vous accueillir ici à Lomi. Thank you, Mr. President, and we also thank the entire Togolese government for the support and the hospitality shown during the organization of this first conference. Speaking of the first edition, this date represents an anniversary of this group and also for the group. Ten years ago, in November 2012, we are organizing the Africa CEO Forum with a strong conviction that it was necessary to create a platform with the aim of serving the African private sector to make it the engine of growth policies and accelerate regional integration. The success was an immediate one and since then this platform brings together nearly 1,800 participants each year that are business leaders, seniors, executives, investors. And today, it is with the same strong conviction that we commit ourselves and that we wish to commit you to this new project that is a FIS, African Financial Industry Summit. The conviction that in this world in crisis, our continent must make its economic sovereignty an absolute priority. The conviction that to succeed in this challenge there is a priority industry, an industry that is central to growth, instrumental to the common market project, an industry that can be a catalyst for the transformations to which the continent aspires. I am of course talking about the financial services industry. And our wish is that at the end of this first edition of the two days that we spent together, each and every one of you will leave convinced that by engaging in a demanding public-private dialogue, we can collectively draw up an ambitious roadmap to radically accelerate the development of financial services and make this sector the engine of economic transformation that our continent needs. So, this roadmap comes against a difficult macroeconomic backdrop that has already weakened some African economies in recent months a context that represents a threat to the continent, a threat because of the risk it poses to international investors' perspective of Africa, and a threat to the soundness of a financial industry impact by rising interest rates, capital scarcity, weakening currencies, and then increasing challenges. That's why we designed with the support of the AFIS Advisory Board, which is made up of some 40 members whom I would like to thank and most of them are here, we have drawn up a combat program, an ambitious one, that brings light on a certain number of uh, stakes that are fundamental to our roadmap. The first one is the one of influence. The one that we are going to win when we come on the international scene and discuss of solutions for Africa first to avoid being a victim of what is happening around the world and we and is not taken out into account. Secondly, we have the development aspect, the development of our African financial groups. The withdrawal of certain international players is an extraordinary actually I think opportunity to develop our national champions. They are the pride of the continent and indispensable lever of economic sovereignty and we must make them even more powerful groups with all the necessary expertise so that they are world class and world class players. Third, financing. This famous sinews of war which is becoming scarcer in this crisis context we're going to discuss these two days. I would have liked to keep you a third day, sorry, but we're going to talk about during these two days 
the various ways to increase our resources, ways to improve financial inclusion, uh, collection, how to improve our financial uh, opportunities like the green finance that is becoming the first hub of international liquidity. We are going to talk about capitals, investments, and we are going to talk about a free movement of capitals. We are, go we are building uh, the AFCFTA, and it is very important that African institutional investment can be better deployed without barriers in Nigeria, Egypt, Cote d'Ivoire, Togo. Of course, in any case where it will have the best hopes of profitability to encourage the collection of investors, bringing them on our continent. We are going to talk about actually of innovation and disruption. And we have in our means about 15 of the best African fintech with us. They have attracted more than 2 billion USD in investment by 2021. They are led by ambitious and innovative young entrepreneurs. We will discuss with them the bridges to be created with the rest of the financial industry. Finally, last important topic, there is a common market, the AFCFTA. If we want to successfully build a true Africa of financial services, as Europe has done with its common market, if actually we want to build that Africa of financial services, we need to engage in a regular and in-depth public dialogue. And that is what this conference is all about, AFIS bringing to you together bankers, insurance, telecom operators, fintech capital market players, regulators, because if we want to meet these challenges tomorrow, we must work together today. So, to illustrate this ambition, vision, teamwork, what it can help us to do, I'm going to lay emphasis on two recent initiatives that have been unveiled by the president of Afrexim Bank, Mr. Benedict Rama, and by Mr. Felix Edu Amenuvi. The first is the payment platform. There is an integrated platform for the continent, and also uh, AELP Link, the interconnection platform for seven African stock exchanges. These two initiatives are actually the type of project on which we must work together and on which we want affairs to be a catalyst tomorrow. Promoters of these initiatives are all among us and I think they deserve our applause. So, before giving the floor to the next speaker, I would like to thank those who made this conference available and first of all I would like to reiterate my thanks to president to the president of the Republic. I know that you have project to strengthen Togo as a financial hub. I have no doubt that this will be a success given the availability, commitment and efficiency shown by all our collaborators with which we've worked in the organization of this conference and also I want to say that having the this great number of investors and investment prescribers and I would like to share this idea that has been shared by one of your collaborators and it summarizes what you know in Togo he she told me Mr. Benjamin don't worry in Togo the job is always done and actually the job the job is always done I would like also to thank our co-host Mr. Mark Tajab, the Director General of IFC and its Vice President for Africa, Sergio Pimenta, as well as all the collaborators of this institution, which has been at the forefront of the development of African in financial services, and which today is one of its pillars. I would like to warmly thank all our partners who have trusted us since this first edition. I would like to thank all the teams because they are going to help us to in this project all through the year because as I told you, AFIS is an organization 
And I also want to thank all the teams of Jeune Afrique Media Group who have prepared this conference with passion, energy, dedication. Thank you all. Good conference and have a nice day in Lomé. Thanks.